The Mets continue to be busy this offseason. However, this time the Mets traded away a player instead of trading for one. It was reported last Wednesday that the Mets were dealing catcher James McCann and cash to the Orioles for a player to be named later. According to reports, the player is not expected to be well known. The Mets decided to make the trade because they were trying to free up some cap space. The Mets are still on the hook to pay 75% of McCann's salary, which will be about $18 million. The 2019 All-Star still has two years left on his deal and is owed $24 million. The O's will only have to pay $5 million of McCann's current deal. McCann has been with the Mets since the winter of 2020 and played two seasons with them. Before that, he played for the White Sox and Tigers. Because the Mets had four catchers on the roster and needed to shed some salary, they decided to trade McCann. He signed with the Mets on a four-year deal for $40 million after having some good seasons with the White Sox. Injuries were a problem for McCann during his time with the Mets as he had spasms, an oblique strain, and 182 games played for New York. The Mets have been big spenders this offseason as they signed Justin Verlander, Brandon Nemo, Edwin Diaz, Jose Quintana, and David Robertson. Before the Metropolitans traded McCann, they had four catchers under contract. With McCann being dealt to the Orioles, Baltimore will likely use McCann as a reserve catcher in DH. John Heyman of the New York Post was the first to report the trade. In other MLB news, the Giants have signed former All-Star Michael Conforto. The deal for Conforto is for two years and around $36 million. Conforto was a plan B option after they lost Carlos Correa to the Mets and then to the Twins. Last season, Conforto missed the entire year with a shoulder injury. The 29-year-old played his first seven seasons in New York, where he was a 255 hitter with 132 home runs, 396 RBIs, and an 824 OPS. His contract also included opt-outs after the 2023 season, according to Buster Only of ESPN. He had been injured while training in January before wow. deciding to go undergo surgery. The Giants still have money to spend this offseason and are looking to make a splash before spring training begins.